guys, Sandy from So Easy by Sandy here and today we're making a pinwheel lab quilt and we'll be using that pinwheel quilt block we've made before and if you haven't watched that video yet make sure to check it out after this one, okay? Also I will be splitting this project into two videos so it will be easier for you to follow the different stages if you decide to make one of these yourself, which I hope you will because they are gorgeous. <laughs> Now, for those of you who haven't heard of a lab quilt, it's that quilted blanket you keep over the couch or on a chair that you use to cover yourself up with and snuggle on the couch for those cold nights, you know, like the ones we're having around here. Now, some people use it whenever they're sitting outside, like on the bleachers watching a game or by the fire. Lab quilts come in all different sizes and shapes and designs, but the purpose is one and the same, to keep you warm while you're sitting somewhere. Now, the size I like for my lab quilts is 45 by 45 inches which is considered the traditional size I guess it's enough for two people to get under and snuggle but it doesn't get too bulky when it's folded away because the last thing you need is a huge quilt on your couch back just taking up space right so for that size I'm going to need a whole bunch of blocks 49 of them to be more precise I'll also need a 1.5 inch wide strip to separate the blocks and about 540 inches of it, you know, a little bit less. I've got my blocks right here and now it's time to pick the block order. Now the only rule I have for this task is no two equal blocks together. Other than that, you may as well toss them in the air and see where they fall. Well, maybe not quite that random, but you get the picture. Let's do this. Okay, now to sew our row. And now to join our rows like so. And that's our quilt top. <laughs> now I'm just going to measure it to see how much white fabric I need to add to the frame to make it the full 45 by 45 inch quilt. And don't forget to add the extra inch for the seams, okay? And here it is, our lab quilt top. Looking great already, don't you think? Now tell me, what fabric do you think I should add to the bottom of this project? You know, something colorful or something soft and light? You know, leave me a comment below letting me know your opinion and I will be picking the bottom fabric for my next video. I'll see you there, bye bye!